Around 2,000 kilometres away from Beijing, nestled in the mountains of Guizhou, is Shetian, a rural county awash with new ideas and traditions. This is not my first trip to Guizhou. My previous trips had focused on how the province was ridding itself of poverty, but earlier this year it was announced that absolute poverty was eradicated, and not just here, but nationwide. In a way, this marked a new chapter for Guizhou, the start of a new story, and one that I'm really excited to find out more about. This is Shimwa Special, and I'm Helen Bentley. Across the country, Shijian is synonymous with hot springs. So, it would be rude of me to come all this way and not check out the country star attraction, right? Rather than a special treat, a trip to the hot springs here, a part and parcel of everyday life for the people of Sirchen. The mineral rich spring waters are used to wash bodies, clothes, vegetables, and even smoked meat. Maybe when something is so natural, you don't see its value. And the hot springs here in Sichuan were untapped economically for a long time, leaving the local people trapped in poverty. But things have changed in recent years, as initiatives have helped transform these underrated resources into something much, much more. I'm now at Zhongba Hot Spring Town, which I've been told is one of the biggest and most popular hot springs destinations in Sichuan County. And it's not just people from Guizhou that come here to bathe and relax, but also people from across the country. Let's go and find out some more. There's hot springs across the country. What makes Sichuan so special? Sichuan文泉它有五个特点，一个是历史悠久，就是在明代的时候就已经开发利用，而且它的分布比较广，全线有二十处、三十六个出入点，第三个特点就是石泉县温泉的流量很大，第四一个特点矿物质含量比较多
It might sound weird, but I've been told that the louder that you make the noise, the more you can get the flavour. The tea from Da Ping is promoted under the brand Purple Peacock and sales through multiple ways including live streaming e-commerce have surpassed 4 million yuan in 2020, increasing local incomes by 1.8 million yuan compared with the previous year. Hi! Hi. <laughs> uh, now that absolute poverty has been eradicated nationwide, the rural strategy has pivoted to revitalizing the countryside. It's about valuing local resources and strengths and developing agricultural technologies and business industries. It's all about the local, and projects like these are being rolled out across the country. In fact, in the first half of 2021 alone, 50 national modern agricultural industrial parks and another 50 speciality industry hubs were established. My thirst quenched in Daping, it was time to move on to my final stop on this visit to Guizhou. This next village, I was told, would show me how rural communities balance the past and the future. This gorgeous building behind me is an eco-museum and it's poured concrete and fresh wood standing stark contrast to the more traditional weathered buildings that surround it. And inside there's no exhibits on pedestals or glass surrounding the collection. No, this is a very special museum where everything is live out there. If this was a traditional museum, this building would be the information card. The real exhibit, the living, breathing heart of this project is Loushan Ancient Village, which can trace its roots more than 500 years. That's right, the whole village has been turned into a museum. This five-storey building would not look out of place in the country's big cities, with studios to libraries, an entrepreneurship academy to a digital lab, and much, much more. So, how does it work? Shu 这个材料、技术和他们的资源，其孵化很多的产品，通过这样子的一个乡村创意，建构乡村跟城市的价值交换。Although Loushan Eco Museum only opened in August this year, I can see plans and projects have already kick-started. Curator Ren told me that an eco museum only has a beginning, no end. And it's like a seed has been planted here. And I'm excited to come back in a few years and see how it's grown. China's Rural Revitalization Project is about flipping the script. It's about creating opportunities for the millions of people who once had no other choice but to leave their hometowns and find economic opportunities in the big cities. It's about nurturing talent and cultivating new ideas so that people not only return but they stay and become the seeds of change that will help their hometowns prosper. <laughs>